and girls, welcome to the Science Corner with your host, me! Today we are going to be talking about cell phones and how they transfer information. For starters, what is a cell phone? A cell phone is basically a sophisticated radio. The radio was invented, which then turned into the telephone landlines, which then turned into our commonly known device, cell phone! Now the question is, how does it work? Cell phones are used to transfer information such as videos, pictures, voices, messages, and other multimedia information. So let's break it down. The information starts in your brain and gets sent down to your hands, and your hands type the message or number or sends the picture. From there, the phone transmits the information out. It sends out radio waves, or more specifically, transverse waves, to the nearest phone tower. From the cell phone, phone tower, tower Another cell phone, uh, waves are transmitted to the nearest base center, which sends out the waves back out to the another cell phone tower, to the closest receiver's location. From there, the waves reach their destination, which is another cell phone and ends up in another person's brain. The, wa the rate at which these waves are traveling is the same as the speed of light, or 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The typical United States cell phone carriers receive about 800 frequencies to use a are cell phones an effective way to exchange information? From my research, I find that cell phones are a very effective way to transfer information because of how fast the information can be received and how convenient they can be. They can be used almost anywhere. The, this method can be improved by setting up more cell phone towers across the United States, states which will guarantee you will have reception and your receiver will have reception as well. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll have a special guest here to talk about how cell phones affect our society today. <laughs> I can watch live TV on my new Sprint phone. Well, my Sprint phone has TV and downloads music. I can check email. I have that. And crime deterrent. What? Try and take my wallet. Give your... Live TV, wireless music downloads, email, and crime deterrent. I'm filing a grievance, Ben. Alright, see ya. Oh, welcome back. Now here's Riley with how cell phones affect our society. Thank you, Katie. The three parts of society we're going to talk about today are economical, social, and political. Cell phones affect our economy in both positive and negative ways. On the negative side, cell phone companies charge an arm and a leg for their data plans and phone accessories. The poverty rate in 2010 is about 12.7%, meaning that over 35 million people are unable to afford these outrageous prices. On the positive side, there are a significant number of families that are not in poverty and are willing to pay these high prices in order to be on these plans and have the cool accessories. Cell phones also affect our social lives in the sense that they allow us to communicate with, with others who may be in different areas. They also allow us to maintain relationships with people when we aren't able to see them face to face. Now this can also be a bad thing because cell phones also cause us to have bad social skills because we're constantly texting and tweeting, surfing the net, or just talking on the phone. They're also an issue amongst teenagers in school because kids sometimes pull out their phones during class to send a text to their friends. Lastly, they affect us politically because there are some companies that are entirely run by cell phones. Nowadays, phones can do just about anything. This includes keeping people's schedules in order and like organizing your work life and things like that. This is both positive and negative because if your phone is dead or if you have no service, you can't conduct business or do your job. Phones are also a good thing because they are handheld and can be taken almost anywhere and used at almost any time. Back to you, Katie! Oh, wow, great information, Riley. Thanks so much for joining us today, kids. See you next week when we discuss genetic mutations. Hit you with a text. Got me on your favorite ringtone. Lately, that's your favorite song.